Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Health Minister Faikal Saleh, along with the World Health Organization Regional Director for Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed Al Salim Al Mandari, visited Youth City 2030 yesterday. More in this report. Youth City 2030 plays a vital role in helping youngsters adopt a healthy lifestyle through a professional array of accredited sport programs formulated according to scientific studies to keep them fit and active. Nutrition workshops that provide them with right information they need about their bodies, their eating habits, the values and harms of every food item. I'm really very pleased and, and very honored and proud of what I have seen here done by the youths uh, in terms of creating tools very in a very creative and innovative way communicating to the different uh, levels of, of generations about health promotion awareness campaigns are also strongly present against unhealthy hazardous habits such as smoking that are usually spread during that age period youth city is designed to raise awareness of youth in all aspects of life including health and I know through uh, Youth City they are uh, concentrating on promoting exercise, which is a very important um, healthy lifestyle, as well as diet. And through our booth we're trying to raise awareness about all health issues, especially those specially directed toward youth. Healthy lifestyle, exercise, diet, and also to avoid um, dangerous behavior like smoking and other risky behavior. Bahrain's health system and ministry-led initiatives are striving to ensure a better future for healthcare in the kingdom. It helped me a lot, not, not just in media, arts or sports, but it helped me also in health. Um, we have a, there's a lot of campaigns about health and uh, sports, and I, and I believe that they helped us, um, educa they educated us in uh, so many ways um, that, that, that can help us build our body, prevent us from smoking, um, Basically, helping us in becoming a better, uh, a better fitness person. So I believe there's a, um, it's, it's helps us in a very in a lot of ways, and uh, and it's a uh, it's a really good thing for this uh, youth in our in our world. Youngsters of today are the leaders of tomorrow, and the habits they are adopting now will be the shape of the nation in few years. That's why such efforts are crucial for development. The launch of the Ministries and Expats competition in the Khalid bin Hamad League showcases the many positive aspects of the pioneering initiative, which includes encouraging and integrating the different segments of the community under one roof. More in this report by Yasmin Ibrahim. The Khalid bin Hamad tournament's sixth edition continues to contribute into creating a new generation of sports enthusiasts who would represent the Bahraini sports movement regionally and internationally in the future with the distinguished participation of ministries and expats. Um, with regards to uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalid's uh, league, this year um, uh, we see that every year it, it's been growing for the last, uh, and this is the sixth edition of the league. Uh, obviously this year we see um, the introduction of uh, ministries play, uh, league within the competition. The event is held this year with the wide participation of youth centers, national clubs, young women, disabled individuals, ministries and communities that highlights the league's role in developing a sense of belonging to the country. And it's an opportunity for uh, um, employees in different ministries in the government to, to uh, to meet each other and uh, play with each other. Same time, it uh, creates a sense of competition between each other, as well as uh, allows um, for uh, the community to, um, to uh, um, identify uh, new talents within uh, the youth in general. So we thank Hassan Sheikh Khalid for uh, patroning such a, such a league, and we hope that it progresses each year. And we wish uh, all the teams the best. The initiative, which achieved numerous gains for Bahraini sports and the community, in light of the increased participation of more than 80 teams and over 1,000 players, as well as the integration of ministries, communities, disabled persons and young women in this league, is beginning to bear fruit and take its place in society by integrating different segments of the community. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.